Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped over a thousand students apply to UK universities. Today, we're going to talk about how to apply to universities. This is useful for undergraduate and postgraduate, as well as those applying from the UK and from outside of the UK. So all university applications for the UK go through UCAS, that is the University and Colleges Admissions Services. So in order to apply for UK university, you apply through UCAS. You will apply your bio, that's your basic information. You'll enter your grades, such as GCSE, A-levels or IB, any work experience you've had, and will also be where you put your personal statement, that's your applications essay and your referee. Typically someone from your school will write their recommendation letter for the university. So I really advise making an applications timeline. On the 25th of January each year, UCAS closes, although that will change plus or minus a few days depending on weekends. If you're applying for Medicine or Oxbridge, that will be around the 15th or 16th of October each year. But you want to allow at least two to four weeks to write your personal statement and a week of admin. So it's really important to plan that. And the top candidates will also go to open days, have admissions tests and interviews. You want to do your research and map out, it could be as long as a six month journey from thinking about applying to university to getting that offer. So applying for the right course is absolutely vital. Those students who pick a course which is well within their grade expectations and within their interests are gonna enjoy the process of writing a statement and visiting that university. But if you apply for a course you don't know very much about or which requires grades which might be beyond you, it can be a really stressful process. So it's worth putting a lot of time into exploring all of the different courses out there. There are loads of websites, we'll suggest some of them in the link below, or you can contact professionals like us who know all of the 15,000 plus courses in the UK and help can help you to reduce the amount of time you spend finding the right courses for you. So you get five university choices when applying to the UK. If you're applying to medicine, you get four choices for medicine and you must apply to one non-medical school. Now the difficulty comes if you're applying for a slashly such as politics and economics or philosophy politics and economics. When you're applying for multiple courses, you might not have the same title of degree at each different university. And that can be difficult when applying for one personal statement across all of those different universities. We strongly advise applying for very similar courses, otherwise your personal statement will not be applicable to any of them and that can really make it difficult to get a place. So if you're applying to Oxbridge, you can put a specific college when applying through UCAS, or else you can apply as an open application and the university will allocate a college for you. It's strongly advised that you go to the open day of your chosen universities and visit colleges because they have very different personalities and cultures and one might really appeal to you and that's gonna give you a better shot of succeeding in the interview. You don't need to put your choices in preference order when applying through UCAS. When you get your offers through, you can choose a firm and an insurance choice. Typically, your insurance choice will be something with lower grades in case you do not hit the grades from your firm choice. The most important part of your university application is the personal statement. Now you have just 4,000 characters. That's about 600 words in order to convince the university that they should take you over all of the other applicants that are applying. Now we've got another video focusing entirely on the personal statement, which we'll put in the link below. Writing a top personal statement can take as long as three months. The average student, however, spends only two weeks writing their personal statement. The average successful student spends four weeks writing their personal statement. We prefer to work with students months in advance to give us time to mentor them to do the right reading, to go to the right lectures, to do the open days, so that when they come to write a statement, it can be a really enjoyable, easy process that really makes them to stand out. So the longer you give it, the higher chance you're going to have of getting that offer. So whilst you write one of the application's essays, your personal statement, there is another, your reference. That is just as important. Typically, if you're applying through a school, that reference will be your head of sixth form or head of applications, or maybe even a form tutor or housemaster. It's really recommended that you find out who is going to write your reference, make sure that they know who you are and that they know how sincere you are about applying to the university, as well as a couple of qualities which you think make you a strong candidate. So when they come to writing your particular reference, they can put a little bit more heart and passion into it than if they didn't know you. 
So UCAS in 2022 cost £22 for a single course or £26.50 for multiple courses. And we strongly advise you should apply to five courses when you're given the option. So the most competitive courses in the UK require admissions tests. Almost all Oxford and Cambridge courses, as well as medical courses, and some of the most competitive mathematical and engineering courses as well. Typically these end with AT, your BMAT, your LNAT, your UCAT, your um, MAT, that's your Maths Aptitude Test. We've also got others such as your TSA and your Language Examinations. It is a minefield and we've got a nice link in the description below to help you see which courses require which admissions tests. The most competitive courses will invite you to an interview. Almost all of Oxford and Cambridge are undergraduate, all medical applications, but also UCL, Imperial, some of the Scottish universities and some specialist courses around the UK. If you're invited, typically it will be a panel interview. That's two or three academics asking you how much you know about the subject and seeing if you have that passion to want to learn more. We're doing a whole different video on interviews, so we'll put that in the description below if you're interested to know more. So the most exciting part of applying to university is of course getting an offer. It can take anywhere between two weeks and six months to get an offer, but the majority of offers will come through around mid-March to early June for UK universities. Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that helpful. I'm part of a network of over 1,000 professional admissions consultants, and we are deeply proud to have a 90% success rate for our students of getting into their first or second choice university. If you'd like to join them and work with me or one of my colleagues, contact us through the information on screen now or in the description below. Good luck. I hope you get into your first choice university.